What's up guys? So today I wanted to talk about Rick Jones. Rick Jones is actually supposed to be in the MCU. He was only mentioned twice. Once was in the 2008 Hulk movie. He was actually on a documented paper and another in the Avengers movie. Under Black Widow's profile, his name actually shows up under her name. So if you don't know who Rick Jones is, Rick Jones actually appeared in the Incredible Hulk number one in May of 1962. Rick Jones has been in numerous comics, two TV shows including The Incredible Hulk and Agents of Smash, and he has never had a live action appearance. In the comics he's mostly known as A-Bomb, but there were two separate occasions where he actually turned into Captain Marvel. He actually merged with two Krees and actually became Captain Marvel two times, two separate times. But that's not what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about how he can make his MCU debut in Captain America New World Order. Now Captain America New World Order is almost full of all Hulk characters, from the leader Betty Ross, uh the hulk might appear she hulk is rumored to appear and they said that abomination might make an appearance again i'm expecting to see the hulk in the film because betty ross is going to be in the film and why not have the hulk in the film with him, you know what i mean maybe he can have a rematch with abomination or whatever he might throw down with the leader the leader might just specifically say well um you're the main cause of this you know what i mean captain america might fight right next to the hulk it'd be dope one of the reasons the hulk became the hulk is because rick jones was actually on the gamma field when he was doing the testing for the gamma race and he pushed Rick Jones out of the way and got hit with the Gamma Rays and you know, became an incredible Hulk. But back to Rick Jones, I wanted to actually put him in the film and actually have Hulk actually known him throughout the whole MCU. They reveal he known him throughout the whole MCU. And you're probably going to question, well, why the hell he, he didn't appear on film or something? You know what I mean? Typical Marvel stuff. The Hulk never mentioned Betty, so you know what I mean? You know how it is. You know how they do in the MCU. So I wanted to have him actually help out the team, you know, help out whatever they're doing and you know the leader gets you know notified that he's actually helping him so he actually kidnaps him and brings him to his lab and tests on him and stuff and that's how he actually becomes the abomination that's how it's gonna bring the abomination to the MCU in one movie i also don't want these characters to overshadow captain america in this new movie it's his movie sam wilson it's his movie he needs to be in all the scenes he needs to be kicking all the ass it's his movie but rick jones is not come back into the movie until later on in a post credit scene where it reveals he's now abomination you know what i mean whatever way they do it they reveal he's actually abomination through a silhouette or whatever however they do it this could also possibly set up the world war hawk movie that everybody was talking about you know uh, i think this year universal lose rights to the hulk this year so they have to give it over to marvel so that way marvel can now set up the new uh world war hulk movie and they could probably get that started with rick jones in it who knows it's been 12 years since we got our last reference to him so this could be the way to bring him in hopefully they bring him in, in this movie you know hopefully they bring him in soon whatever project they bring him in i just wanted to give my input and in how i would bring him in the mcu and you know what i mean let me know what you guys think down in the comments so like and subscribe and i will see you guys later